With a third of us spending at least £10 a week on takeaways, the majority of us don't try to recreate these dishes at home. So today I'm going to show you how to create one of your favourite takeaway dishes, a biryani. But I'm going to make this with pork and spinach. Now, what better time to create this dish than the Indian festival of Diwali? To make the pork and spinach biryani, what you need is a tablespoon of oil, some lean diced pork, 80 grams of spinach leaf, 150 grams of basmati rice, a jar of the Shabud's tomato and cumin biryani sauce, and for garnish, I've got some crispy fried onions, some crispy fried spinach leaves, boiled eggs, and to serve with, I've got some natural yogurt. Once the oil is hot, add your pork, Once the pork is sealed, we need to add the, the spice blend from the topper. Add the spices in, make sure the pork is well coated with the spices, and then drop the spinach leaves in. Just give it a minute or so here, so the spinach leaves kind of wilt. And now we're ready to add the jar of sauce. You can also do this with chicken and probably add a few peppers or whatever veggie you have at home. It's, it's really, really simple and you can take on the flavours quite easily. And now I'm going to add some rice. It's just raw basmati rice. Just add that on top. Now normally you wouldn't do that, but trust me, it works really well. So rice on top. I'm going to add 150 ml of water. All you need to do is, there is a water fill mark level on the jar here. So you just fill it up to that level. Pour the water on top. Just make sure all the rice grains are nicely immersed in the water. Now you want to bring this to a boil. And don't disturb this dish at this stage. You really need to kind of let it be. The rice will fluff up on the top and you'll have the sauce underneath. Now that it's coming to a boil, what we do is just take it to a low heat, cover and simmer for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, have a quick check. Oh, you can smell the spices. So after 20 minutes, this is what it would look like. There might be a bit of water left around, but don't worry about that. The rice will actually absorb it once you're resting it for 10 minutes. So lid back on, switch it off, and just rest it for another 10. Now that it's rested for 10 minutes, remove the lid, and you just want to give it a quick, gentle stir, make sure it's all mixed together. Just look at that. Colours are lovely, the rice have taken on the colours, the rice are nicely cooked. And now we're ready to serve. Now we garnish with some crispy fried onions. Let's get a few boiled eggs, one in each corner, to finish off some crispy fried spinach leaves. Now traditionally in India, we'd serve this with just fresh yogurt and enjoy it with your favourite pint of lager. So there you are, a restaurant style dish quicker than a takeaway.